The following show is dedicated to Andy Thompson. For becoming a patron at patreon.com slash tin dog and helping the tin dog podcast to keep going. Thank you. Scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast. Now this week, I have spent most of the week with a particularly bad cold. Bad head, no energy, that kind of thing. But one of the good things about it was I almost completely lost my voice. Bear with me, it'll make sense in a moment. I almost lost my voice and then as it came back, I sounded like a Sontaran. Yes, I could wander the streets shouting abuse at earthling scum and all that business and my voice sounded just like Strax because this time I'm reviewing Jago and Lightfoot and Strax in The Haunting. It's a two disc set from Big Finish. Yes, it is that wonderful, wonderful moment where we've got new Who series extras and old Who series extras all brought together and good lord it works. Now, everyone who's ever heard of Jago and Lightfoot absolutely adores them. We're up to series 11, and there's a handful of other specials as well. But basically, it's the people from Talonzawen Cheyenne, but they are so their own characters, and so their own universe, and so just plain brilliant. And then you've got the comedy creation that is Strax. Now, I know a lot of you out there have issues with Strax, the comedy Sontaran. Well, you're wrong. But let's leave it there. I can't really just go around saying, oh, you're wrong. But Strax works. Strax is an eight-year-old petulant child. He's also a heavily trained, heavily armoured killing machine who happens to be a medic. And he is on Earth. He's a butler. He is literally a fish out of water. He is trying to do his best, and that's what Jago and Lightfoot's all about. Yes, it could have gone horribly wrong in the hands of a lesser company, where you've got very strong characters being added to even more stronger characters. But because they're all strong in their own different way, it just makes the whole narrative work. Yes, on a certain level, there's a shopping list of things to do. Let's see what Strax is like at the theatre. Let's see what Strax is like when he meets these people. And because of a directorate sent straight from Wales from the pen of Mr Moffat, well, you get a very odd setup where you've got Strax thinking that Madame Vastra and Jenny actually are Jago and Lightfoot. Now, if you're not familiar with Jago and Lightfoot, I'm going to play the trailer at the end, and that's fine. You can experience that. But basically, there are two Victorian characters, two gents, one theatrical, one doctor, both working together, both using their own strengths in order to solve mysteries. Usually directed by the incredibly good Lisa Bauman, and she is brilliant here. Not just in it, but directing and bringing everyone together. It just works. If ever you were worried about this not coming together, you are wrong. It is brilliant. It is the most light-hearted, without being comical, or comical without being silly, story to come out of Big Finish in some time. It just does your heart good when you're listening to this. Line after line make you laugh out loud, but you are still not taken away from it. It isn't com- It isn't intentionally funny in this way that, say, a sitcom would be. But this is the spin-off we want. Now, I'd like to put in a request for a boxed set of origin stories. Imagine different doctors, say, for example, five, six, and seven, or perhaps eight, all popping back and having their own individual introduction story to the Paternoster gang. Then you put them all in one box set, you've got multiple ancient doctors, you've got all of the background you need for the gang and how they met and how they come together, all told over different doctors. It would be a brilliant box set. Imagine, if you will, Tegan attending the wedding, or the pre-Time War 8th Doctor having to deal with Strax. Even could be the War Doctor, if that's the way you wanted it. 
it could all work beautifully. So that's my request. Because the fact that this is called Jago, Lightfoot and Strax in The Haunting, rather than just Jago, Lightfoot and Strax, as many people on Divergent Universe are saying, this gives me hope that there will be more. And you know what? Really not complaining. It's spectacularly good and well worth a punt. So go and get this now. It's brilliant. It truly is. So until next time, I'll say farewell, play the trailer, and probably talk to you next time about Doctor Who. Be seeing you. I wonder, may I ask you a question? Of course. Goodbye. Uh, no, wait. The question. You just asked it. You said, may I ask you a question? That was not the question. You want to ask another question? Humans are so imprecise. Coming soon from Big Finish Productions, Jago and Lightfoot and Strax. Right, lads, this is a place. Is the house really haunted, Inspector? I gather there have been three other brainless bodies found in the last few weeks. You mean, this is the fourth? Your brain is suitable. My... I'm sorry? You will be. What was that? Just the wind, probably. Spectral creatures, show yourselves. Surrender now and your death will be swift. Yeah, ghosts, spooks, spectres. The supernatural, paranormal, uncanny, and just plain downright weird. Yeah, I, I try to explain, but he insists you, Professor, are the great detective Madame Vastra. And he thinks Mr. Jago here is an asthma called Jenny. And he thinks you're both married. Of course. You mean he thinks we've got husbands? Not exactly. Then what exactly? He thinks you're married to each other. What heavens above? Big finish. We love stories. Mind you, he thinks I'm a bloke. You've been listening to the Doctor Who Tin Dog Podcast. Available on RSS, iTunes, Audioboom, Tumblr, and wherever podcasts are found. Why not become a supporter of the show by visiting patreon.com slash tin dog. Doctor Who and its associated properties are copyright of the BBC and no infringement is intended. To contact the show, email tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance.